I am Dr. P. Raju Kumari, working as Associate Professor in Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. So in this video, I want to discuss about some more problems on divergence and curve. So what is the divergence and what is the formula for the divergence and what is the curl and what is the formula for the curl, how we can calculate already we discussed in the other video. So if you want, we can go through that video to get a more clarity about the divergence definition and formula and curl definition and formula. Now I am <coughs> going to give <coughs> the definition and formula again to get the better clarity when you are moving to the problem. So the curl of a vector point function f is defined as below. So we can observe here what is the formula or what is the definition for the curl f we can observe here. Curl f is equal to del cross f. So before we discuss about the divergence, so divergence is del dot f. Divergence is del dot f. So here curl is del cross f. So what is the del? Del is the operator. So what is the value or what is the form for the del is i dou by dou x plus j dou by dou y plus k dou by dou z. So here this is the del operator. Next what is the f? f is f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k. So now I am doing del cross f. So, del operator form is here i dou by dou x plus j dou by dou y plus k dou by dou z cross f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k. So, when you are doing the cross product, you can do the that value that is that of i j k and here first one the del coefficient i coefficient is dou by dou x. Here j coefficient is dou by dou y, k coefficient is dou by dou z. Here f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k. So i quotient is f1, j quotient is f2 and k quotient is 3. Now we are doing the dead value. So here i. So when you are considering i, we will consider these two uh, four values that is that is dou y dou by dou y of f3 minus dou by dou z of f2. So i into remaining we have to observe here 2 by 2 matrix for dou by dou y of f3 minus dou by dou z of f2. Now after that minus now I am taking about the z. z. So when you are considering z so we will not considering this this row and this column. So j into dou by dou x of dou by dou x of f3 minus dou by dou z of f1. Next, we are taking plus now third, third term that is k. So here we are considering these two. So dou by dou x of f2 minus dou by dou y of f1. So this is the form for the curl f bar. This is the form for the curl f bar. So here curl f bar is vector quantity. So divergence is scalar quantity, we will get the scalar value. When you are doing the cross product, we are getting the vector quantity. And here divergence f is 0, then we can say that f is solenoid, right? So solenoid. So when you are getting here curl f is 0, then we can say that f is irrotational. F is irrotational. So divergence f is 0, this is solenoid. If curl f is 0, we can say that f is the irrotational. These are the basic points we should remember about the formula and the node points. So what is the irrotational motion or irrotational vector we can see here? Any motion in which curl of the vector, velocity vector is a null vector. So that means curl of that function should be 0. Then we can say that that is the irrotational. That is the irrotational. Nothing but we can say here a vector f bar is said to be irrotational. When it is said to be irrotational, if 
कर्ल एफ आर इक्वल टू जीरो इफ एफ आर इज जीरो रेशनल देन वी कैन से दैट देयर एग्जिस्ट्स इज स्केल आर पॉइंट फंक्शन सो इफ इट इज अ फिज एक्सक्यूज मी इफ एफ इज ए रोटेशनल देन देयर एग्जिस्ट्स इज स्केल आर फंक्शन दैट इज पाई such that uh, what is that phi function f equal to grad phi so this phi is called the scalar potential function so here in this uh, curl we are having two types of problems wow. <coughs> we can show that the given vector as a rotational vector and they can ask to calculate the scalar potential function also so if it is a rotational find the scalar potential so how we can calculate the scalar potential if it is a rotational then there exists a scalar function that is f bar equal to grad phi so now phi is the scalar potential phi is the scalar potential of f so here first we have to calculate about the curl f curl f is zero then there exists a scalar function that is such that f bar equal to grad by r double phi so then phi is said that phi is at the scalar potential of scalar potential of f so here we can uh, see how we can calculate the curl f by this uh, <coughs> problem we can get the clarity about this curl f value so if f bar is given like this so f bar equal to x y square i plus 2 x square y z j minus 3 y z square k this is the f value what they are asking after giving the function they are asking to calculate curl f bar what is the curl f bar curl f bar equal to del cross f bar curl f bar is nothing but L cross F bar. This is set of I J K. So first of all, then two by two x, two by two y, two by two z. This is about the quotient of I J K in the del operator. Next F bar. So F one, F two, F three. What is F one, F two, F three? F one and F two, F three are quotient of the F bar. Quotient of I J K in the F function. Now, what is the F here? We can write F one nine plus F two J plus F three K. So when you are comparing this value, what is the F one? F one is x y square. F two is two x square y z, and F three is minus three y z square. So now we can replace in place of F one F two F three. So that is two by two x. Do by do by and do by do z. Here i quotient is x y square, and here two x square y z, and here minus three y z square. Now we are going to calculate the that debt value. Now we are going to calculate the debt value. That is i into here. When I am considering i, so I have to say i into do by do by of f three. So that means two by two y of f three is minus three y z square minus two by two z of two x square y z two x square y z. This is equal to i minus j minus j minus j into here. When you are taking this, let's see. So we have to consider two by two x of f three minus three y z square. Minus two by two z of x y square. Next coming to third one that is plus k. So at that time we will consider two by two x of two x square y z minus two by two y of x y square. X y square. Now we are going to simplify this one to get the Total quantity based on the curl. Now I am going to simplify this one. I into two by two y of minus three y z square. So minus three z square is the constant. 
y is y minus 2 by 2z of 2x square by z square. 2x square yz. So 2x square yz is y. So here 2x square y. This is equal to first term minus j. Here if you change it this value we can write plus j also. Plus j means then minus into minus plus. So plus j 2 by 2z of x y square. 2 by 2z of x, y square minus here plus into minus minus 2 by 2 x of minus 3 y square. In that way also you can do. So here first term I am calculating 2 by 2 x of 3 by z square. Here there is no x term. All constants so 0. Next minus 2 by 2z of x, y square. <coughs> this term also 0. In the second term both are zeros. Second term, both are zeros. Next plus k. Here with respect to x, we are doing 2yz constants into 2x. 2yz into 2x. Minus, minus, here with respect to y, we are doing so x into 2y. x into 2y. Now, we are simplifying this. First term is i into 3z square minus 2x square. 3z square minus 3x square y. Next term, 2 term, second term is 0. Plus k 4xyz. You get 2yz into 2x. So 4xyz minus 2xy. So finally after simplifying this I am getting the value here. Minus 3z square plus 2x square y into i bar plus 4xyz minus 2xy into k bar because z term is 0. So this is the so back here they are given at the point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1. So at the point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 means x value is 1, y value is minus 1, z value is 1. So we are going to replace here. So then we are getting the value minus i minus 2k. So when you are substituting x is 1, z is one, y is minus 1, z is 1. We are getting the curl left hand is minus i minus 2k minus i minus which we will note in next problem here. Find <coughs> curl f bar. Find the curl f bar where f bar equal to what we have to find here. Find curl f bar. We have to find curl f bar. Where what is the f bar? F bar equal to grad, grad of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. What is this value? f bar equal to grad of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. So from this we are going to calculate curl f bar. So first line minus pi. Here we are taking this one as a pi function. So x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz by equal to x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. So what they give him f bar equal to grad pi. f bar equal to grad pi. So first we have to calculate the grad pi. That value is equal to f. Then we can calculate the curl f bar. That's why first we have to read the question properly. We have to analyze the question, what is the given data, how we can calculate the curl f bar. So that's why first we should calculate the grad by. How we can calculate the grad by? If we know the formula for the grad by, then we can calculate the grad by. So here, what is the grad by formula? Grad by equal to 2 pi by 2 x into y plus 2 pi by 2 y into j plus 2 pi by 2 z into k. So now what is the 2 pi by 2 x? What is the 2 pi by 2 y? What is the 2 pi by 2 z? That we have to calculate. First of all, 2 pi by 2 x equal to 2 by 2 x of I will do it down then I can do this here. So first of all, pi equal to x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z. So now I am going to do the partial differentiation with respect to x. 
when I am doing with respect to x, x cube is 3x square. y square is 0, z square is 0 minus 3 into yz is the constant and x is 1. So 2 pi by 2x value is 3x square minus 3yz into i. Next, 2 pi by 2y value, 2 pi by 2y equal to, first I am doing with respect to y now. So, x square term is 0. So, y cube is 3y square. So, z square, z cube is 0 minus 3 into x, z into y is 1. So, finally, this is 3y square minus 3xz into j, into j. Now, I am going to calculate 2 pi by 2z. So, here x cube is 0, y cube is 0, z cube is 3z square minus 3xy, xz is 1. So, this value is 3z square minus 3xy into k. Now, taking 3 outside, so x square minus yz, next y square minus zx and z square minus x. So, now, after calculating this value, for the given f bar equal to grad pi. So, that means f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k. So, f1 is x square minus yz. f2 is y square minus zx. The f3 is z square minus x y. Now, what they are asking to calculate? Now, they are asking to calculate here curly f bar. So, curly F bar means del cross F. So, that is straight of I, J, K, J, K and del coefficients are 2 by 2 X, 2 by 2 Y and 2 by 2 Z. Next one is F1, F2, F3. What is the F1? X square minus Y Z. What is the F2? Y square minus ZX. What is the f3? z square minus xy. So, 3 is the constant you can write here. Otherwise, you can write here also 3 into 3 into here also 3 into here also 3 into. Otherwise, you can take it out also. Then finally, we can um, calculate with the value. So, now I am doing, <laughs> see here now, 3 into first i into. So, when is i, we will take uh, this pair that is dou by dou y of dou by i into dou by dou y of z square minus x y z square minus x y minus dou by dou z of dou by dou z of y square minus z x y square minus z x this is the first one minus j into now we are considering the j when you are considering the j here I will take uh, this one. So, dou by dou x of, dou by dou x of f3, f2, f3. So, f3 is nothing but z square minus xy minus dou by dou z of f1. Dou by dou z of f1 is x square minus yz, x square minus yz. Now, k we are doing plus k, so, dou by dou x of and dou by dou x. So, dou by dou x of y square minus zx minus dou by dou y of x square minus yz. Now, we are doing the simplification i into dou by dou y of z square minus xy. So, that is minus x. y is 1, z is 0. Minus dou by dou z of here y square is 0 minus x into z is 1. So, minus x plus x here. This is about the first term. Next, second term, minus j into, with respect to x we are doing, so z square is 0, minus y, x is 1. Here also, minus 2 by 2 z of x square minus y z. So, minus x square is 0, minus, with respect to z we are doing, y is 1. Okay. Next, third term, plus k into, with respect to x we are doing, y square is 0, minus z, x is 1. Here, Minus, with respect to y, we are doing 0 minus z. So, now, finally, I got here i into x 
x minus x here minus x plus x plus minus j into minus y plus y here plus k into minus z plus z so finally x minus x is 0 y minus y is 0 z minus z is 0 so curl f bar curl f bar value is 0 0 so that means that means curl of grad pi so here curl f bar is 0 so that means curl of grad pi grad pi equal to 0 so pi is always rotational if curl f is 0 we can say that we can say that the function is irrotational irrotational so we have to know about these definitions so this is the way to calculate the problem by using the curl f formula thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates